Welcome back nerds, Fino here with a look at the Caldea Boys 2022 Craft Essences. You get a free ticket to pick one of these, so you may as well use it well. That said, your choice is really between the two 5-star CEs. The rest aren't terribly notable, so let's go over those first. Alright, first off we have Royals Traveling Incognito. This one gives invincibility for 2 hits and gives a crit damage buff as well. The crit damage is what scales with uh, max limit breaking, not the hit count. So, invulnerability does have its applications, and what I see you could do with this one is that you put it on your holdout servant, and either they're one that generates stars by themselves, or they could benefit from stars generated before the rest of your party wipes. So when your final servant comes out, they can do a good bit of damage, and also be protected for a few hits. Now, the closest analog to this is actually Volume and Hydrogerum, which is a gotcha CE, so there's a good chance a bunch of you don't have it. So there are a couple of differences between the two. Volume and Hydrogerum has a full 3k health investment, whereas Royals Traveling Incognito has a 2k attack investment. Moreover, the thing with Volume is that you're gaining an extra hit of invincibility, but your other effect is flat damage, which usually isn't terribly relevant. Crit damage is better, so you could treat Royals Traveling Incognito as a more aggressive Volumen. Yeah, overall I'd consider Royals a side grade to Volume and Hydrogerum, because the third down of Volumen is relevant, even though the offensive effect is weaker. So pick your poison on that one. Now the other 5 star CE is Blue Illusion. This one gives Invuln Pierce and a bit of NP damage which isn't terribly like amazing on something that has no starting charge. Uh, Invuln Pierce is nice though, it is a, it's a niche utility effect that comes up enough to be relevant. Now that said, Blue Illusion has a mixed stat distribution which is usually not good. Because even though Invuln Pierce is utility, you want it on offensive servants. And obviously, if you're training a bunch of attack power, like to hit someone through, like Evasion or Invuln, you might not actually end up for the better in that trade. Now, how much I would recommend Blue Illusion depends on whether you have any other Invuln PRCs or not. Now, there are a couple of free ones that have been uh, released over the years. You know, the best of the free ones, I would say, is Sweet Crystal, which uh, is long past its, like, rerun date, but it is in the Rare Prism shop if you're so inclined. So Sweet Crystal has starting charge and a full attack investment, so that's the one I would pick unless I have the convenience of, like, finding a caster and I have Origin Bullet, which is not a free CE. Um, other free Invuln PRCs over the years include Decapitating Bunny and, oh, what was it from Oniland? Frost Fighting Bear. Now, Frost Fighting Bear is not particularly good, but if you just need Invuln Pierce, it is free. You get it max limit broken. Well, you effectively get it max limit broken. And it plays a, a little nicer with the buster setups, I guess. So if you have access to any of those in Vampire CEs, I would take those over Blue Illusion, just because. Because even though two of their effects are card type related, they are free, which it's a little hard to argue with free. I guess Blue Illusion is free as well, but you get only one copy. Yeah, so the TLDR is that if you have no in Vampire CEs and no Rare Prisms, you may have to go with Blue Illusion just to have access to that bit of utility. Although, Come to think of it, um, if you're going to gotcha this uh, summer event, Honey Lake comes out, that has Invuln Pierce, and it's also ridiculously strong, especially with Burn Servants. So again, that's another mark against Blue Illusion. So yeah, TLDR, I would say, is that I would go with Royals Traveling Incognito, unless you desperately, desperately, desperately need the Invuln Pierce on Blue Illusion. Now, just for the sake of completeness, let's take a look at the other CEs, and none of which I'd recommend, although a couple of them do have some uh, quirks. First of all, we have Exclusive Tailor. This one has a full attack investment, but has a 4-star CE that doesn't count for as much. Bust your buff with uh, one tick of overcharge. Overcharge effects on CEs with no starting charge are a little perilous. To make them worthwhile, they really have to have like multiple stacks of overcharge. And even then, usually I would just run with like um, Demonic Bodhisattva, or sorry, Devilish Bodhisattva, if I had my druthers. Not a free CE, but, you know. Alright, then we have The Dante's Files, A New Chapter. Another 4-star CE, this one has a full health investment and a bunch of offensive effects. You know, aside from like a very, very, very minor like damage reduction. Yeah, not terribly notable, although I will say the Dante's File CEs do have some nice artwork. Then we have My Student Council. This one's a heal amp with a bit of NP generation thrown in. Uh, by and large, I would say the healing effect CEs aren't terribly good, aside from like Made in Halloween, which has a few like very narrow like abuse cases but ones that it's comically effective in, so again, not one I'd really recommend. Alright, moving on to the 3-star CEs, we have Sengoku Freestyle. Uh, it gives a sick 1% charge by default every turn, uh, upgrading to a nice 2% when max limit broken. 
Bit of crit damage, bit of NP damage, a little wishy-washy. Kind of reminds me of that, like, year one good good CE that gives, like, 1% of everything. Not quite as egregious, but not particularly useful, I would say. Alright, next up we have God's Deal, featuring my boy Chen Gong. Again, a, a mishmash of very, like, small magnitude effects. Not something I'd recommend. Although I would absolutely watch this anime, if it ever got made. Alright. <laughs> Next up, we have the unfortunately named Daddy's Letter Show, which <laughs> when I when I first rolled this, I read that as Daddy's Leather Show, which come on, look at this. What, can you fault me for that? You know, mixed stats on a Star Absorption CE, not particularly good. Like, if you need easily obtainable Star Absorption, you go for one of the two bazette related ones. Wouldn't really burn your ticket on, uh, fucking the Leather Club. And finally, we have a Buzzer Beater. This one gives a one-hit evasion and a bit of buster, it's also a sick artwork. But yeah, evasion CEs are fairly common. You can actually get them out of your uh, friend point gotcha. There's one called, uh, oh, what was it? Parted C. I would say Parted C is worse than Buzzer Beater, but you can get it pretty much whenever you want. And you have the convenience of just slowly like building up towards limit breaking it, which not that there's a particular reason to, but you know, it's there, it's free. And with that, I think that's all I have to say on the Caldea Boys 2022 CEs. So yeah, just to reiterate, uh, Royals Traveling Incognito, my recommendation. Get that unless you desperately need an Influent Pierce, in which case you go for Blue Illusion, and none of the other CEs are really worth picking. So yeah, that's really all I have to say on Caldea Boys 2022. Stick around because I'll be doing some more videos related to stuff around this event. Till next time, peace out.